What are your favorite foods from uh, foreign countries? Uh, um, Chinese food. Oh, I like uh, Italian food. Sausage called linguisa. And couscous from Morocco, North Africa. I like goulash. Beef goulash. I like to eat Armenian kind of food. Rice cooked in grape leaves. Lasagna. Spaghetti. Sukiyaki. I like pound of beef. Matcha. Couscous is um, a kind of a baked semolina. Taco, this is something like tortilla, you know. The arroz con pollo is uh, chicken with rice. What foods do you associate with special holidays? Well, turkey for Christmas, ham at Easter, matzo on Passover. <laughs> the New Year Day, we eat a lot of rice cake. Why do you like different kinds of food? Well, I'm a great believer that variety is the spice of life. No matter where in the world you live, you can get a balanced diet. That means eating foods from the four food groups. You can get the nutrients you need to live and grow. All the vitamins, the minerals, the protein, the carbohydrates are fed from food from all over the world. And you can find 44322. That is uh, 44322. Wait a minute. Uh, 44322. Two. You mean 4432 also, Wilbur? Four servings a day of fruits and vegetables, four servings of bread and cereal, three servings of milk or cheese, and two servings of meat, fish, or chicken. That's 4432. Four, That's 4432. Four, That's 4432. Four, four, oh, that's right. 4432. Four, and you can get it anywhere in the world for the food you eat. I can hardly wait. Yeah, me too. Oh, hold it, hold it. This is really important. Yeah, I'll bet. Come on, kids, hold it down. Let's see what Wilbur's got to say. Come on, then, Wilbur, out with it. Yeah, yeah come now, on. Now, I happen to have here an assignment. Assignment? From? From? Up? Upstairs. Upstairs? You have an assignment for us from upstairs? Let's hear it already. Stop wasting so much time. Yeah, Wilbur, stop acting like James Bond already. Yeah, come on, Wilbur, let's hear the assignment. Hurry up already. Okay, I'll tell you all about it. It's about time. Shh. Now, Upstairs wants us to undertake a highly special assignment. Uh, you mean us, the Mulligan Stew, don't you? No, I mean us, the Mulligan Stew, plus us, me. Oh, no. Come on, Manny, let's hear what the assignment is. Upstairs wants us to figure out a meal for the kids of all nations who are coming to the National 4-H Center for the Giant International Night. What? Yes, the kids are coming from all over the world and upstairs wants us to figure out a meal that all the kids can eat that will represent all of their homelands so that they can sample a little bit of each other's home cooking, too. Boy, that's a tough assignment. But that's not all. The food that the kids are going to eat 
at the international meal, as always, has got to be nutritious and good tasting. A well-balanced meal. Boy, Wilbur, I hope you know this isn't going to be easy. Well, that's precisely why they gave it to you, Mulligan, and the rest of the Mulligan stews. Now, the question is, can you do it? Can the Mulligan stew come through once more? Can we lift our heads high, throw out our chests, and say to the world, yes, world, we can do it. The Mulligan stew accepts this challenge. Wilbur, will you hold it down? I'm trying to think. You mean we actually got to cook this meal? Why not? We can always get them help, and I think it'll be fun. Okay, now, we've got to investigate. We've got to find out what foods we can make and serve the kids from all over the world. Find out how nutritious they are, and plan a well-balanced meal that will be good to eat. Fun to eat. Right. Food's got to be fun to eat, too. Okay, now let's go out and start gathering our information. We'll meet back here in four hours. But what will I do? You'll stand here and, uh, and lift your head up high, throw your chest out. We'll see you later, Wilbur. Millions of years ago, man hunted for his food in the wilds of the forest. He hunted for foods like wild pig, deer, fish, and the longhorn cattle. They gave him food from the meat group. Oh, yes. That was a time when man was truly a man. I can see him now, standing on the mountainside, the sun beating down on his back, muscles rippling, the conqueror of all he surveyed. No worries, no income tax, no unemployment insurance. No unemployment insurance. Today it's different. Farmers and ranchers all over the world raise animals, especially for food. Hogs give us ribs, pork chops, sausages, pig nuggles, and chitlins. Pork fried rice. Bacon and ham. A ham? I, Wilbur Do Right, fourth assistant to the understudy of last year's Christmas party, a ham? Not I. Meat from hogs gives us protein. You also give protein from turkey. And, and you, you get, get turkeys from eggs. And you get eggs from other turkeys. And they all contain protein. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, you get protein from turkeys, and you get turkeys from eggs, and you get eggs from other turkeys. Now, they all contain protein. Turkeys, eggs, I don't get it. Now I get it. Ugh. Everybody knows that milk comes from cows. And goats, too, sometimes. But did you know that from milk comes butter, cheese, cottage cheese, sour cream, and ice cream? You're putting me on. Nope. And from beef cow, you get lots of different kinds of meat. You get liver and stew meat, you get steaks, and roasts, and hamburgers. Corn, peas, and beans come from the seeds of a plant. I bet you don't know what part of the plant an asparagus comes from. Asparagus comes from the stem or the stalk. So does celery and broccoli. What about carrots? Ah, oh, carrots come from the root of the plant. So do potatoes and onions. What foods do you get from the leaves of plants? You get cabbage, collard, and turnip greens, kale, spinach, lettuce. Oh. How about grapefruit, pears, oranges, apples, tomatoes? That's the fruit! And you can get all the nutrients you need, all the vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats from foods all over the world. Ooh. Lasagna from Italy. Skiaki from Japan. Chili from Mexico. Catfish and cornbread from the deep south, USA. A gulag from Hungary. Beef stroganoff from Russia. Swiss cheese from Wisconsin. Lox and cream cheese on a bagel from the delicatessen. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey. Good to see you. Hey. 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 hey, would you like to see the farm? Yeah. yeah. Come on. Hey. Hey. Wanna grow up tall and strong. I feel like you belong i
up tall and strong. You want to feel like you belong. Let me tell you that you can't go wrong. Parmesan, the best of minestrone this side of Rome. What's minestrone? That's the best vegetable soup you ever put in your mouth. So I gotta come up with some real soul food. Then I'll be familiar to the black kids from this country. And then I'll turn on kids from different countries all over the world. Well, that ain't no problem, Manny. All of my cooking's good enough to turn on any kid. How about fixing some hush puppy? Yeah. Collard beans. And pork barbecue. You want to know my secret recipe for fixing black-eyed peas? Right on. Goulash, carbonza, beans, and guacamole. Romaine, rice, and ravioli. Spinach, sauerkraut, and cold bologna. That's a delicious trip around the world.
Vietnam. I'm from the Netherlands. Me too. I come from Scotland. I come from Germany. But hi, from the north, near the border of Denmark. I come from West Venezuela. What country do you come from? I am from Costa Rica. Finland. Where do you come from? Norway. I am from northern India, a place known as Uttar Pradesh. It is one of the states. Um, what kind of food do you eat in Sweden? Oh, I eat very much potatoes and meat. What kind of meat? Mm, pigs. What do you have for breakfast in Jamaica? It depends on the type of work you do. If your job is light, you'll have a light breakfast, eggs, toast, tea or coffee and orange juice. Whereas if you have to do a hard work, you'll have to do eat bananas along with meat. What do I have for breakfast? Well, in, in the cold winter months, and it can be very cold, we have porridge and bacon and egg usually. Then what do you eat for lunch? Lunch, uh, beef fala lindstrom. And what are your favorite foods? Well, I like very much the famous German Bratkartoffel, the fried potatoes with a nice glass of beer and a fried egg with it. And afterwards, a bit of apple strudel. What do you have for lunch? Well, lunch is varied. If you had a light breakfast, then you'll have a heavy lunch, such as chicken or bananas and ackee and saltfish, which is a national dish. Now, for dinner, most usual in uh, Holland is that we are eating potatoes with a bit of meat and with vegetables. Because of your religion, are there any foods that you're not allowed to eat? Yeah, uh, there are. Maybe. There are. Uh, the Hindus are not allowed to have beef. beef. Uh -huh. And uh, the Muslims in our country, Pro. there are about 74 million, they are not allowed to have pork. And what are you? I'm a Hindu. Okay, and what about you? I'm a Hindu. Uh-huh, and what about you? I'm a Sikh, I'm allowed to eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like your American dishes because I like a lot of meat and vegetables. So I do enjoy them so far. What's your favorite food in America? Well, I liked actually everything I had up to now. I think it is so nice that we always have milk with our meals and orange juice or tomato juice in the morning. I think that's very, very good for our health. <laughs> Did you know that one slice of pizza contains food from all four food groups? I don't believe it. The bread and cereals group, the fruit and vegetables group, the meat group, the milk group. And there are lots of other foods from all over the world that give you a balanced diet. Tacos from Mexico. They're made with meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, and tortillas, which is a flat bread. Chinese egg rolls. They can be made with meat, fish, beef, sprouts, eggs, flour, and butter. Crepes from France. You can add a lot of different fruits, vegetables, meats, and cheeses to crepes, which is really another kind of flat bread. Smorgasbord from the Scandinavian countries like Sweden and Denmark. It's like a whole lot of different foods all put together. It's like a great party. There are cheeses and breads and potatoes, fish and meats, fruits and vegetables. You just name it. And Mulligan stew. It's everything you want it to be. It's what's happening. So you can get a balanced diet anywhere in the world. Right on. Take it literally, Wilbur. With you, anything is possible. Thank goodness. Okay, let's compare notes and get started. Right, let's compare notes and get started. Okay, Mickey, what did you find? With the Oriental kids, let's have skiaki. Yeah. Great. That has meat and vegetables. That's two food groups. And chili con carne and tacos for the Mexican and Spanish kids. Yeah, that has foods in it from the meat group, milk group, fruit and vegetable group, and bread and cereal group. Right. I got a good recipe here for rice. Barbecue ribs, that'll be out of sight. Rice and ribs, that's great. Okay, how about you, Mike? What did you find? I got lots and lots of ideas for the menu, but I narrowed it down to spaghetti and meatballs, ratatouille, Italian bread, and spumoni for dessert. And my grandmother taught me how to prepare a smorgasbord. And I learned of new ways to make Swedish meatballs and fresh vegetable platters. That'll not only taste good and be good, but it looks good, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. Man, what a feast this is going to be. Right. And now we have foods from the meat group, milk group, fruits and vegetable group, and bread and cereal group. All four food groups. That's the healthiest and best tasting meal I ever planned. Me too, and it sure is going to be a gas. Oh, you're so right. Well, let's write down everything so we can go shopping and put it on our shopping list. That's what we've been doing, Wilbur. See? Oh. Uh -huh.
Okay, then. The menu is settled. Let's go out and buy the stuff we need and then fix it. Yeah. Hey, what are you so happy about, Wilbur? What about going shopping with you kids for the international night dinner? You? Who said anything about you was going? I did. You want to make something of it? <laughs> no, man. If you want to come shopping with us, you come shopping with us. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what chitlins is. Chitlins? Yeah, that's a group of little kids. Uh-uh. A lot of little chickens? Uh-uh. A Japanese beetle? Uh-uh. A South American cocoa bean? Nope. Chitlins, chitlins. Now, that must be spelled with a C, or is it spelled with a T? Chitlins is soul food. Come from the inside of the hall, and mmm, is it good. Really, I didn't know that. Wait, I'll find a riddle for you. Just hang on in there. Give me the nickname of the English sailors of the late 18th century who suffered from a vitamin deficiency called scurvy and who were given as a cure one cup of lime juice aboard ship every morning in a tin cup. Limeys! Limeys. What did you say? Did you say limeys? Limeys. <laughs> That's right, limeys. Limeys. <laughs> The recipe for ratatouille says to line the pot with olive oil and add garlic before you lay the vegetables, right? How's the eggplant covered, Mickey? Just fine. I'm almost ready. How about you, Maggie? Zucchini is easy to slice. I'll be finished in no time. How you doing, Mike? Light green pepper's coming right up. Man, this is fun. How you doing with the onions, Wilbur? I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's all going to be so good. Well, they'll just have to wait until the international night tonight, if you want any, Wilbur. But I'm hungry now! Man, food really helps get it together. Like dinner time, with the family. Or on family occasions, like weddings and birthday parties. Or special holidays, like Thanksgiving and Halloween. Ooh, Thanksgiving! <gasps> Mashed potatoes, cranberries, corn, sweet potatoes, pumpkin pie, turkey. Oh, I love that bird. <laughs> Watch it, Buster! That's one of my relatives! Sorry? Eating and sometimes not eating is a part of some religious holidays and ceremonies, like Easter, Christmas, and Passover. Then food takes on a special meaning. Food makes you feel good, inside and out. It makes you want to get together with the kids. Food gets everybody together! Right on! The bread and cereals can be found in food from all over the world. Like tortillas from Mexico. Pumpernickel from Scandinavia. Rice cakes from China. Hush puppy from the deep south. Cornbread, whole wheat bread, bread. 
<laughs> um, Italian bread and uh, Danish pastry, um, uh, onion rolls and bagels from Brooklyn. <laughs> like man, you need nutrients to live and grow. Protein's a nutrient, so you need protein to live and grow. Oh, minerals are nutrients, so you need minerals to live and grow. Vitamins are another important nutrient. Carbohydrates and fat are important nutrients. So you need carbohydrates and fat to live and grow. Yeah! Looks like our dinner's a really big success. Sure is. Yeah, the kids here are eating food that they never knew exist before. And enjoying it, too. Right, and this food is not only good for you, but it tastes good, too. No, it's so You said it, Wilbur. You said it. Come on, let's join the fun. <laughs> You wanna grow up tall and strong. You wanna feel like you belong. Let me tell ya that you can't go wrong if you eat right. If you eat right, that means making sure you're eating a balanced diet. Make sure you're getting the nutrition you need. Make sure you're eating a balanced Know the healthy sign. Feeling good is yours and mine. If you eat right, if you eat right, that means making sure you're getting vitamins, protein, minerals, and carbohydrates and fat. Make sure you're eating a balanced diet. Feel like you belong. You got to eat right. Let me tell ya that you can't go wrong if you eat right. If you eat right, just make sure you're getting vitamins, protein, minerals, and carbohydrates and fat. Make sure you're eating a balanced diet. Pepper and fat, baby, that's where it's. Yeah, they keep